This is one you absolutely have to make and you want to impress somebody. Make this cake and tell them it's all homemade because it is. So, um, we're going to be using a whole container of Hershey's syrup in this cake. So we're going to start out with one and one half cups of sugar. So it'll be three scoops of this. And one and a half sticks of margarine. This recipe is a 70s recipe, so it's going to call for margarine, okay? I'm actually, instead of making the recipe, the original recipe, I'm actually making it a recipe and a half for the cake uh, because it didn't call for enough flour, in my opinion, to fill up the cake pan good. So this is um, the butter and the sugar. We're going to cream it first. Uh, we're gonna put in six eggs. Okay, so we're gonna start with six eggs. There's one. Uh, we're gonna use a whole container of Hershey's syrup, 24 ounces, y'all. So, um, I think I'm gonna put in half of it and then put in some flour and then put in the rest of the syrup. Okay? So, for the flour, it's self-rising flour and it's going to be a cup and a half. Let me turn this thing well, that's as low as it'll go. I gotta be careful and not spider this everywhere. It's got this paddle in it that that likes to throw the flour out that has the silicone on it. That's just what it does. There's a cup and a half of flour, y'all. Now let's put in the rest of this syrup. Is that chocolatey enough for you? A whole container. And I also add sugar. It's going to be really good and sweet and delicious, I hope. All right, and now we're going to put in a little bit of vanilla, a couple of teaspoons of vanilla. This is a tablespoon of a half a tablespoon uh, so this is what I'm putting in but if you make it at home and you don't have one of these because this is flavoring just use a, a teaspoon of extract or two teaspoons of flavoring okay so there we got it simple dimple right that was so easy um, and we really don't even have a big mess okay. so we're gonna turn it off it has mixed enough we'll pour this in there then we're gonna start making some icing for it okay so there's our delicious cake mix. It's, it's kind of um, pretty runny, but it's got a whole thing of that syrup in there. So let's get it in here. We're gonna bake it and see what happens. Okay, so I've got my oven preheated at 350, so we're gonna place it in the oven. In the center, right in the middle. Some evaporated milks actually have a pull top now with a pour spout. It's really nice. But these that I bought don't. Let me turn this down to medium. I'm going to turn this down to medium. And then we're going to add in our milk. I guess I better put this on low. All right, so we're going to do two-third cup of milk. I didn't punch the other side so it can breathe. This is our stick of margarine. We're going to add our cream and let that be heating up. Then we're going to get out our uh, chocolate chips. And that would be a half a bag of chocolate chips. But since we're not using, um, I want to mix some half and half, y'all. So I'm just going to put in some chocolate chips. It's going to be that simple for me. Y'all can measure it if you want to. 
That's the milk chocolate ones. And these are the mini semi-sweet ones, okay? Put on a little extra of those. Alright, now we gotta add our sugar. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So our sugar is going to be one and a half cups again. There's a half. That's one cup. I won't empty my container, y'all, it looks like. And a little to grow on, right? Okay. So we're going to let that mix up to uh, melt together. It's really like making fudge. So we're going to bring this, um, and you don't want to do it really fast. So we're going to bring this up to a boil. Once it starts to boil, then we can um, increase the temperature a little, put a lid on it. If you put a lid on it, um, it'll, it'll keep it, hopefully, from so much sugar to be on the side of the pan to turning it back to sugar. Because you know when you make fudge, um, you can't get any sugar granules back into the fudge after it cooks or it just turns to sugar and when you bite into it It tastes like sugar granules. I've got it. Oh, here's my lid. I'll use this lid Since y'all are watching and, and it won't be so boring But now it's starting to bubble. It's gonna start bubbling around the edges first And you can hear it. I guess y'all can hear I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but it's starting to bubble so we're going to put a lid on it for a minute. But once it starts boiling like this, you want to go around the sides of the bowl. Alright, let me get a wet um, some water and we're going to see if we can't get some of uh, the fudge off the sides. It's already getting pretty doggone uh, hot, too. Let me get me something to check it with. Let's check it. I'm going to check it before I fix the sides because I think it's already getting close. Now, I'm going to show y'all how to do this. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit so y'all can see how I check it. Um, you take some water like this in a, in a uh, container, and then you just drop it in there. And if it falls to the bottom and it actually forms, look y'all, it's actually formed into like little droplet circles. It's ready. It's really ready. It's at a softball stage. We'll do it again. If you can actually see it go down in that bottle and keep its circular shape, then it's at a softball stage. Now, if it hits the bottom and it completely separates, then you know it's not ready. And we'll punch some holes down in the cake. This is uh, a chopstick that my daughter made. She, she can eat well with chopsticks. And so we keep the wooden ones here for her. But I like to use them also to punch holes down in the cake if I'm gonna put in something gooey and ooey and good. Okay, okay so I'm gonna take this uh, chopstick and we're gonna punch some holes in here. It took this cake a while to get done. Um, I would say a good 40, 45 minutes. I actually turned my oven down to 325 because when you're cooking chocolate cake, um, you don't want it to get too dark around the edges, okay? So if it's gonna take a little longer to cook it, and we had a lot of batter in here, and it made a beautiful layer. Um, so it, I know I'm gonna love this cake recipe. So I may even make this cake recipe to like do my chocolate cakes for birthdays and stuff, because I think it's gonna be amazing, okay? 
So we're going to pour our icing on here. It looks just like chocolate fudge, hot fudge, and we made it homemade. It looks good, don't it? It looks, I mean, y'all, it is amazingly beautiful and shiny and just, just perfectly creamy. But don't it look good? Can you come off of there? I didn't cut it good on the bottom. Okay. So let's taste this cake. <laughs> I need to bring it over there and let y'all see the layer close up. With this thing on me, y'all might can hear me chewing a little bit too much. That is like chocolate overload. Maybe that's what I'll call it. It is like crazy chocolatey. It is really, really good. My husband is going to adore this cake because he... The, the more rich something is, the more he likes it. It is so rich that it's almost like a, rich like a brownie to where I think you would almost have to, I mean, you definitely got to have milk with it, but it almost needs to be served with ice cream. But y'all, I'm just going to take a bite of the cake part, just the cake by itself and see how it tastes. <laughs> this is when you absolutely have to make and you want to impress somebody make this cake and tell them it's all homemade because it is thanks for watching Calder Valley Cooks where we cook like mama did love y'all bye